boys. Your relationship with Mark Cavendish has had some ups and downs over the years. Um, what's your opinion of Mark now? I always respect him. He's a world champion. He won a lot of big races, so he's uh, one of the fastest. Maybe he's the fastest in the in the bunch. But uh, yeah, we don't need to hide. Does it give you any more pleasure beating him in Oman compared to the wins in Australia? I'm happy when I finish first. Doesn't matter against who. Do you see any weaknesses in Cavendish's team and his lean out? What he has now compared with what he had at HTC? Well, I don't know. I just look on our on our team and uh, uh, we know we have a lot of horsepower in the team and uh, yeah, we don't look on other teams. Do you feel in a better position than ever to challenge for Milan San Remo this spring? It's in March. Now we're February. <laughs> this is your second season that you are leader of this team for the sprints. Uh, that you know that everybody in the team is only looking to you. Is it also a growing process from year to year that you become more confident? Or... Oh, I'm just happy that I can uh, get the support of the whole team uh, for the lead out. And uh, yeah, especially we are all friends and. Uh, I think this is also a big, big part uh, for for a team. It's just it's just better if you have friends in the team. Everybody is pulling on one rope, and uh, yeah, it make, makes it easier. Has there been anything different this winter in your preparation compared to last year? Because you, you started the season so so strong. I mean, did you was your training program different? Over your we just had a better winter than uh, the year before. November, December, there was uh, almost no rain in, in, in Germany, and you know, yeah, I think everybody did good work during the winter, and uh, 